This is my social security number. We're gonna talk about how to protect your identity even if the entire internet knows your social security number. Now, what can you do with these nine numbers? You can steal someone's tax refund, steal their government benefits, open up financial accounts in their name, steal their health care coverage, mess up their medical records and their credit. Beyond that, you can use it as the first step in a larger scheme to commit crimes under their identity without you getting caught. If you want to be a real asshole to someone, here's what you do. You use their social security number to declare them as legally dead. And they wouldn't even know until years later when they try to collect social security and they are unable to. If someone steals your bank account information, you can just change your information. But you can never change your social. This isn't actually my social security number, but even if it was, your number is already out there being sold on the dark web for 0 0.0005 bitcoins. And at the very least, it's on the light web being stored in supposedly secure servers. They are after you. They're watching you and they are just waiting for you to put your guard down so they can strike. If you're like a multi-millionaire, if your net worth is something like $5 million, then you have a lot to lose from identity theft. But you can protect yourself almost completely from credit identity theft with this one little trick that the industry does not want you to know. What you do is you freeze your credit. This prevents new accounts, new lines of credit, anything that requires your credit report, it prevents that from being opened. This is something that people normally do when they have their identity stolen, but you can take advantage of this to protect your assets. Anyone can do it and it's completely free. Credit monitoring doesn't prevent new accounts from being opened. It just tells you about it after the fact. What we want is to prevent it from happening in the first place. To freeze your credit, it's really easy. You go online or you can do it over the phone. And you have to do this with all three of the national credit bureaus, TransUnion, Experian, and Equifax. Freezing your credit has no effect on your credit score. It doesn't cost any money for you. Obviously it costs money for the credit bureaus, but that's why they don't want you to know this. Equifax used to charge $10, but after the hack, they made this all completely free. And then, all you do is you go online and you unfreeze your credit whenever you need to use it. If you're getting another mortgage or a new credit card or anything else that requires a credit check. I don't know man, sounds like a lot of work, sounds like you're just being paranoid. Listen, if you ignore your money, your money will ignore you. Take some financial responsibility, spend the 30 minutes that it takes to freeze your credit right now. I'd also recommend if you live in one of these locations to get an identity protection pin. Now, all this does is prevent people from using your social security number to file fake tax returns in your name. Also, here's a quick list of things that you can do to prevent your money from being stolen. Yeah, so that's how you protect your credit score. Tune in to the next video to find out how to protect your social credit score. And all that glitters is gold. Only shooting stars break the